Welcome to the Scream Queens Horror Movie Podcast. I am your sole survivor, Josh, or Mr. Josh. And I'm your final girl, Justine. Hey, Justine. Hey, Josh. So, we are, guess what we're doing right now? Oh. We are headed down the highway. And where are we going, Justine? We're going to Alabaster Cavern State Park here in Freedom, Oklahoma. Freedom fucking Oklahoma, y'all. It's America. It's America. We're going to go see the largest gypsum cave. It's Maybe you gypsum can tell me. Gypsum alabaster. Gypsum alabaster. Yes, well, yeah. Maybe you can explain to me what gypsum is, somebody out there, <laughs> but it's cool, right? Yeah. It's like the largest one that you can, that's public. With, yeah, so yes. it's not even like the largest one, just the largest one oh, that's open to the public. Well, but aren't they tricky with their words? <laughs> I know, huh? they are so tricky. tricky well, tricky. we're going to a cave. What do you think that means? What do you think that means, Is Green it because Cleaners? We, we just watched The Descent. Oh, we did, didn't we? We just watched The Descent. It was so good. That's one of my favorites. Came out 2005. It might have been wider released in 2006 because I see multiple dates. Depends on what source you look at. But the back of the DVD <laughs> says 2005. Says 2005. Um, it's a UK production. Yes. Set in Appalachia. <laughs> Appalachian in Mountains. In North Carolina and Appalachia Mountains. But, did you know, all filmed in the United Kingdom. Yeah. Well, I think that's just for but many purposes. They found, they found good stand-in locations, you, you know. I didn't ever feel like we weren't um, there. And we have we have some experience with yeah. the Appalachians. I've so. been to the Appalachians Me before. Me too, y'all. I'm so, educated. We thought, hey, let's go to K. Let's talk about The Descent. Like I said, one of my favorite horror movies since the 2000s. I think it's genuinely really scary. Anxiety-inducing. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is just like I held on to my blanket the whole time, and I've, I've seen it before, but like still, like yeah. I, it is always it's the situations, it's it's the fact that you know there's flesh eating humanoids coming after them. people in small spaces. <laughs> yeah, it's you're cramped. It's all that, and you I don't cramps. like it. I got cramps. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, it's it's really frightening. It's pretty crazy. Every time. Every time. But yeah, so um, we're going to talk about The Descent, the Descent. today. That's going to be to our Al- movie. Yep, as <laughs> we're headed up to Freedom, Oklahoma. Freedom, so, Oklahoma. Where does our movie start? It starts with all the girls. It starts. Like, river rafting, Yeah, right? it starts with three friends. The the best friends. The best friends. Mm-hmm. And you know, those actresses did all their own stunts. They actually did the rapids, and that's them filmed. Like, doing the spelunking? Mm-hmm. Doing, no, doing the whitewater rapids at the Oh, very yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, like... the scene we're talking about right now. <laughs> Sorry. I thought you just meant, like, in general. No. Like, they... Well, pro- yeah, probably that, too, but... Okay, so we have Juno, Sarah, and Beth, and those are the three... They're the three best friends. <laughs> that anyone could have. Well, kind of. Anyways, uh, yeah, they're thrill-seeking buddies um, that are whitewater rafting, and then we see them kind of like... Go their separate ways. You see Juno uh-huh. looking longingly at uh, who Sarah and her husband. Uh-huh, yeah. And like, she has like this jealous face all on. Yeah. It, well, what, and he also like helped her get out of like her life vest or something. Oh, yeah. It was really strange. Like you could already tell that, hmm, there was something. Um, thumbs up. Something going thumbs on up. over there. Mm, cats in the cradle, y'all. <laughs> so, um, but on their way, on Sarah's way uh, back home with her husband and her daughter, they, they get into a car accident. Fatal car accident. Yeah. There's gore. It's, yeah. You see a poles going through people's heads. Uh-huh. He, he takes a pole through the head. Yeah. It's, I mean, yeah, it must have been so, at least it was here quick. We, here we are again. <laughs> here we are again on episode three and a man <laughs> and a child dies. Kid killers. We These, cannot. They love to kill kids. We cannot help but pick movies where sadly it's there's It's like we're watching we're like, oh, okay, here it goes again. Yeah, so we get it. We've already caught on to this. <laughs> I don't want anyone pointing out this like, like we, we got it. We already figured it out. We don't know what's wrong with us, but. So, sh- 
mother, her family's dead. Yeah, and I guess, like, she took it pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> like, because, you know, the... You see her ripping out her... She wakes up in the hospital and you see her ripping out, you know, her IVs. <laughs> yeah. and she realizes it kind of the moment she wakes up. She goes that, running through the hall. There's that big dramatic scene where her friends are holding her. One yeah. friend, Juno, can't take it. The one that's sleeping <laughs> around with her husband. <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh off. no, this is awful. But, like, her friend Beth is cradling her in the hallway. And all these, like, doctors... Just walking like, past. All these other people are just like... Oh, who cares? Like, keep walking. We've seen it all. <laughs> I'm just like, keep calm and carry on. <laughs> like, my yeah, goodness. Yeah. She's lost it in the hallway. <laughs> um, well, yeah, okay. But then, like, you can tell she took it pretty hard because it's like... Jump cut to a year later. A year later, and she's having these, like, pretty graphic dreams, nightmares about, like, you know, she getting... Like a pole through the head, and then they always seem to end right with her daughter's with, like, birthday. Uh, yeah, like, with, and then the vision will be like her daughter holding a birthday cake, this is and Jessica. then, and then it, yeah. and then she'll wake up. Yeah. But those are always her little dreams. Well, the friends has. are back together. It's a year later. Friends are back together. They're gonna stay plus, in the cabin. Plus more friends. Plus so few more six girls seeking ladies. I mean, they are adrenaline rushed females. <laughs> they are tough. <laughs> And they're going to do their thing. They're going to do it all on their own. But you know what? It's a good cast. I yeah, believe them. I believe yeah. them. Oh, man. There are so many instances when they are, like, doing those little stunts and, like, the rock wall climbing. And I'm all like, that is insane. Those yeah. ladies are tough. Mm -hmm. Look at them. But, yeah, okay. A year later, they all decide to um, kind of go cave diving, spelunking in the There's Appalachian a Mountains. Lots of good scenes of getting to know the girls in the cabins. Mm -hmm. They're you so know, they laughing, meet up, joking. Meeting up at the cabin that first night and they're like reminiscing. They're all in America now together. Even but though it, they're all British ex or they're all like from the UK except for the Juno. Ju Juno. The She's one, the American. The villain is American. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else has some form of English. <laughs> yeah, accent. everybody else is redeeming and stuff and <laughs> has different qualities, but Juno's just like a tramp. The American She's tramp. a betrayer. <laughs> She's prideful. It's like, okay, we get it, Neil. So they all go out to the site. They're going to go down this big hole. But mm -hmm. what do we see Juno do? She throws, you see her take a map. It's like their guidebook. Up, their guidebook. Yeah, and she just tosses it back, back in the car. This like, is when you're like, oh, something's up with this she, Juno. I don't like she her. She is like, oh, no, we don't need this guidebook. We can do it all on our own. So <laughs> really cool shots of them going down the cave. By the way, they shot this all in Pinewood Studios in England, not like... None of it shot actually in, in a cave. Yeah, a cave. So shout out to the production design team. They did a great job because I, before I looked it up, was like, did they shoot this in a cave? <laughs> did they shoot this in a <laughs> cave? They shoot this in a cave. Yeah, but so the other friends, though, their names are Sam, Rebecca, and Holly. And Sam and Rebecca are sisters, and one of them's a doctor or wants to be a doctor, is going to school to be one. And then there's Holly, and she's kind of like the young one. Like, yep. she's That's right. uh, kind of wanting to prove something to everybody in a way. And um, so, yeah, I just wanted to make sure we introduce those other characters yeah. before we got too far. Um, so, anyways, they, um, yeah, they go, they get down into that hole um, and that takes them down into the cave and kind of explore it for a little bit. They take a rest and they're eating mm -hmm. apples and sandwiches. And that's when um, you kind of get this first kind of a sense of foreboding. Yeah, right. they're like, this cave on. has got something going on. They mi might see something in the shadows. and uh, But they decide, okay, where's like the next route to take? And they're all searching for it. And they find it. And uh, they're going through it one at a time. And that's when we get to see the whole like tight spaces. Yes. And like them like uh. crawling under like a little little puddle of water like coming up very it's claustrophobic like, yes oh God, yeah no way and sarah has her moment in there where she gets claustrophobic and you kind of kind panic of right up. along with her too yeah, you know, yeah she's struggling and freaking out yeah and you're like oh and she's got her demons you know that she's constantly dealing with and then like here she is in this tight space and everybody's gotten through it she's the last one to go and then the rocks kind yeah. of 
start moving and you're like, oh, oh no. My God. And she's having like a panic attack. So many <laughs> scenes of them in tight, wet cracks. <laughs> You have been dying to say that, haven't you? <laughs> well, you're right. <laughs> so, anyways, she's like panicking, and the, this little cavern oh, is collapsing, it's collapsing on, on her. Her friend's like, oh. okay. Her friend at this point has turned around and has crawled back, like, okay, I'm going to come pull you, know, you come out. Pull you out. And, and she's then, trying to help her. She's like, don't freak out. You know, we got this. And then, all and then sudden, the walls collapse. Yeah, and then she's like, get just, just go. Just let's go. So they get out, and the okay, it's all collapsed. They're caved in. They left some ropes behind. There's some yeah. things left behind, but they had no choice. Like, yeah. like There was you know, zero they choices. They couldn't just go back and get the supplies. They had to, they had to go. So um, now their passage is collapsed, and uh, when all the dust settles, they're like, okay, this is what we're going to do, and that's when Juno's She's gonna let them know something. She She's like, guys, now that the walls are collapsed <laughs> and we can't get back through, I have something to tell you. <laughs> because they're at least thinking like help will eventually come for them yeah. because they have to give their route numbers mm-hmm. to like the state park and stuff. And she's like, Oh no, I didn't take you guys uh, to that cavern. I took you to one that hasn't yet been founded. So Everybody, the rangers think we're at a different cave. So even if we're gone for a couple days, they're gonna start looking. They're gonna in the check wrong the other place. cave out. So this is another incident when you're like, you American pos. <laughs> like, what was she thinking? Oh, she'll tell you what she was thinking. She did it for Sarah to restore their friendship. She's like, we can name this cave after you, Sarah. Yeah. And Sarah's I like. Was- no, bitch, you want to name it after yourself. Yeah, I love how she was like, I just thought maybe we could, like, name it after you. No. You wanted to name it after you. No. She's, I mean, she, yeah, she's kind of awful in so a they, way, but you feel bad for her because she obviously didn't think something was going to collapse in and they were going to be in this situation. So they make the resolution, like, okay, let's truck forward. we got to keep yeah. going. We're either going to die or we keep going. Yeah, we've got to keep going. And they, they, they're they going for, a, I mean, like, you know, cut to, they're like, they've been, like, looking around for a while. And they kind of finally stumble along. She's like, stop! Don't go any further! Yeah. And she's like, hold up, what? <laughs> and they then shine a light. <laughs> and there's, like, a huge pit in between. Exactly what they don't need. Like, Still. basically a cutoff. But then you find out how badass these girls really can be. Yeah. What did you think about the scene that's coming? The scene where they have to, like, I don't even know what you call it. Where they're like, well, they're, they have to like climb, climb scaling across, the ceiling, yeah, scaling with their like ropes the rocks and, across so they can get. Basically, they're gonna bridge over with like ropes, and she's hanging really on to those yeah. with just her fingertips. And then you, they've already done the rock test and thrown it down there. And you're like, you no, know. It's far, far down. Yeah. Like, if she falls. They're dead. They're, like, yeah, they're all just kind of goners. So. A lot of ugh. anxiety-inducing moments in this movie where you're just on the edge of your seat. And that scene's one of them for sure. And Juno, you know, like, she sees old equipment, like, shoved up into the rock, you know. Like, in a wet, Or not Juno. You know, it's a. Uh, it's a uh, what's her face? What's her name? Oh, the friend. The other British girl. Yeah, Sam. It's Sam that's doing the scaling, and she sees that there's actually old equipment there, mm-hmm. and so she so just like, like we're not the first ones. Yeah, you? but it's almost like she doesn't have time to address it because she's holding on by just yeah. fingertips. So she just uses it, and then everybody starts zip lining across. And then Juno, like, she takes up the end, and she's, like, scaling it, too, like, yeah. trying to get their equipment back, because they don't have much. And then that old equipment gives way, and you have this moment oh, where Juno's like, hang oh. on, like, oh, my God, everybody's like, oh, my God. Save Juno. Oh, my God, and the rope, they're holding on to it. Oh, uh, when it burns their and it hands. Burns that, oh, Sam's hand. It's oh, like her. a major gnarly case of rope burn. It's the worst. Like, she's bleeding everywhere, and you we get to see her sister's, like, doctor skills, yeah. like, come into play. She's like, but... oh, yay, I got something to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can help. I can do this. Look, 
<laughs> well, stop the bleeding. Oh. So, they make it across. They do make it across. Spoiler. They, um, they make it across. So, you know, at this point, we haven't even seen... No, we haven't What's, seen... This the, movie's really known for, yeah. for the crawlers. Yeah, we haven't seen the crawlers There's yet. something else in this cave, y'all. And, and it's going to get them. We have had little, like, little notions. Like, okay, I think maybe there was a silhouette or something, but... Yeah, you'll hear noises. You, the girls might stop If you're seeing it for the first things. time, then maybe you don't see it. You know, like, yeah. if you're seeing it, like, we've seen it a few times, and all of a sudden you're, you're like, oh, yep, there, I can see it. Okay, there's, like... Okay, but anyway, so we haven't seen them yet, and we, um, the, uh, the girls come across... The cave painting. A cave painting that shows them it's that there are... two exits. Yeah, different ways out. To get out of the cave. They're like, and okay, well, so they're like, we, we have, have options. We, we have can, hope. Yeah. So they, they are like, okay, we're gonna head that way. Um, and then Holly, like, she's like... Okay, I, think I, I see gonna, lights. I'm gonna headline this. I'm gonna get in front, and she thinks she sees light, even she, though for like ever, like all of them are screaming talking. at her and telling her like, Holly, it's not light. Holly, stop, it. stop, Holly. Yeah, she won't stop. And you're like, I'm sorry. If there's like five girls telling me that's not light, I'm like Holly. They're to yelling stop. at you in your in angry British accents. You need to stop. <laughs> yeah, and all of them are just like, no. Stop! That's not light! And she's... Yeah. Yeah. So, guess what, guys? It's not light. And <laughs> <laughs> that bitch falls, falls... down the hole. In another hole. Like, they're not already far enough down into the earth. And you hear now, this, that sound effect. There's that sound effect of her body as it's she's falling down the hole, hitting the side of the cave. Yeah, yeah. And it well, makes, like, this crunch sound. Well, you kind of know like, she's... Oh. You know, she's she's going to be pretty banged up. She's hurt. <laughs> like, the bitch didn't fall gracefully, okay? But you see a big bone sticking out of her leg. Yeah. Oh. So, she broke her leg. And it's, it's that kind of stuff that really gets to me. Like, it's oh, gross. It's like bones sticking out of body parts. That's the shit that really grosses me out. It but, makes, yeah, yeah, your stomach makes, just yeah. gets so queasy. So, now they've all got to get go farther down to go get her. Now that she's down in this hole... And that's when Sarah, when everybody's, like, tending Sarah. to Holly and, um, like, you know, trying to set her bone back into her body. <laughs> yeah, they just push it back push on Push it. It's really gross. But that's when Sarah hears, like, you know, what sounds like her daughter saying, like, you know, her name. Yeah. And then she kind of follows that. And that's when she's, that's when we see it. She sees that's the when first we see crawler. The crawler drinking some water. Uh, it's such a creepy image. It almost reminds me of like Gollum. There's yeah, only like sitting there yes. crouched drinking the water. Scared Lord of the Rings. <laughs> but yeah, it's, but it's, it's a little bit. Scary. Yeah, like but... <laughs> it's a way more frightening. Um, so we see it, she sees it, and she tells Juno, and Juno's like, shut. You're seeing things. You're, yeah, like you're crazy. But we know she ain't crazy. She's not crazy. And now we get to sit on eggshells. Until, because we know it's going to come. I mean, it, like, yeah, it's going like, to happen now. Yeah, going to happen. And you know, once it happens, it starts happening. <laughs> I have to <laughs> it say, like, I, stop. it takes about an hour for anybody to die or for the crawlers really to show up. But even that first hour, there's so much intense, mm -hmm. scary, edge of your seat stuff that doesn't deal with the supernatural. It's just them stuck in tight spots. Exactly. It's just like fears and phobias yeah. that people have naturally. Mm -hmm. It's just a movie filled with that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. Things that really, truly scary. Make you so uncomfortable. And so, yeah, now we've seen the crawler and it's imminent that they're going to be introduced to them as well. Yeah. And they are. And it's, not, it's not a nice introduction. It's, it's like, not, hi, Mr. Crawler. No, they get the scent. My name is Sarah. They get the blood scent, like, from yeah. Holly. And they can hear the movements going and on. They is this, yeah, they flash their lights up and they're And everywhere. they're... And they just, you know, um... They've carried, uh, Holly out. Yeah, they got Holly back they out of the hole, but now they're the trying to, to just, like, get back on their path. And they're all kind of standing there. And then it pans to Holly standing there. And there's a crawler right behind her. And it, like, just grabs her. And then, like, it's on. Like, there's crawlers. And they're all having, like, kind of, like... Smackdown. Yeah. And oh, it's like Juno's. Like, that scene's so cool. 
Yeah. Like just the girls are kind of like going run, at it. running in all directions away, you know, away Judo from gets crawlers. Attacked and yep. the, she's just fighting this crawler off. And it, I almost that wonder crawler. how much was choreographed or if it was just, okay, you guys go at it. Be careful. Yeah. Like, you know, cause it seems very natural. And they're it, fine. And like so, they're just really, Oh man, we're just rolling like, around on the ground. Holding on to my blanket yeah. so scared you're like go oh, Juno even though I mean I you dislike Juno yeah but you but also she, like but her they, you like Holly and well Holly's being taken away yeah. with the crawlers and Juno's just trying to get her yeah. but she's got to fight off like crawlers as she's trying to and anyways and the characters are well rounded so even though yeah. Juno does some shitty stuff she's fleshed she's not out a, yeah she's not a terribly awful yeah. human being like she just yeah she little bit of a cheater <laughs> but and she's prideful I mean yeah she wanted to found a cave and was deceitful about how she was going to do it and um but so Juno she doesn't as she gets the crawler off of her she kills him but like doesn't get her friend Holly back but the other girls yeah, have ran they, off they tore up Holly yeah you know, Sarah fell down and got knocked out she gets knocked out a lot in this movie. Yeah. Um, but then Beth kind of like walks up behind Juno. And Juno. <laughs> and even the audience at this point, you hear a noise. You think it's a crawler. She You're has right. her big, I don't even know what it's called. It's like a big pickaxe almost. Yeah, it, no, it is a pickaxe. And she's, you know, she turns, just turns around, around and, and knocks it. And she whacks, whacks the pickaxe right into Beth's neck. Thinking it was a crawler. Thinking it was a crawler. So and you have the shot of just this pickaxe sticking out of her neck. It's, it's sad so, it and looks, terrifying. Yeah, it looks so gross. It looks so painful. And yeah, it is sad because you know she would not have done that. She would. Juno's not a killer, you yeah, know. It was so all it's kind of what she does after that. She just yeah, leaves her there. Yeah, how she just leaves her there she to pulls suffer. The out. Yeah, uh-huh. picks out. Pickaxe yeah. out. It just leaves her there. And that's, you know, Hardcore. gonna come back to haunt her. The reason why, you know, that happens. Um, but, uh, so, okay, so we've got Juno dealing with that. She's walking away from Beth, and Beth's just gonna be left there to, I guess, bleed out. Sarah, who's off somewhere in that den area, but she's got knocked out. Yeah. And then the sisters, they've run off. They're hiding yeah. in, in, like, a little cramped space hiding yes. away from that crawler. Is that, that when the crawler. watch goes off? Yes, yeah. That's yes, when the watch goes off. throw the watch and he's right up in her face and it's pretty it, intense. Yeah. So we get, though, by this interaction with them that the crawlers kind can't of blind, see. Yeah. yeah. And they have this nasty white film that goes over their eyes. It's really gross. I read somewhere that the director, what's his name, Neil Marshall? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Neil Marshall? Yep. Yeah. That he uh, wanted the crawlers to have like a Nosferatu look. Yeah. Which I can totally see. They have that pure white. Mm-hmm. It's really, it's hands. frightening. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a good look. Scary looking, for sure. Um, so, but so they've got that going on, and that's a really scary scene. And um, Sarah, though, she wakes up in the den with amongst like animal bones and. Oh, yeah. And human bones. You can see there's like a skull and everything. Mm-hmm. And she wakes up to Holly being like thrown down there. Yeah. And they start just like devouring Eating on her. her. It's it's gnarly. Um, everyone except for uh, the sisters are alone. Juno's on yeah. her own. Sarah's now on her own. I mean, Holly's dead. And she's having to stay completely quiet because they're eating right in front of her. They're just like, how are they going to get out of here? Yeah. How could they possibly get get out of here? Because you get the sense that there's a lot of crawlers. Yeah. There's been shots of them on the ceiling crawling around. Yeah, there's not just like a little family. Um, Coming out to feed. So, Juno is on her own and she finds like these arrows on the cave walls. Yes. And they kind of look like maybe they're going to show her a path out. Because by now they've figured out that there was somebody else here. They mm-hmm. saw the, the equipment. I mean, cave Sarah things. runs into other stuff when she like makes that lantern out yeah. of uh, that old kerosene lamp yes. and stuff. And a helmet looks like there's a helmet there and stuff. But um, So we, we get that there were other people before and yeah. they were obviously 
de- devoured. Yeah. Because we see lots of bones, but you get you see a lot of animal bones. Mm-hmm. They even say something like they sense, like they, there's got to be a way out because they're going up to the surface and yeah, bringing food back to down. bring food back down. Exactly. And so the girls need to find each other. And uh, Juno and the sisters, they find each other first. Mm -hmm. Um, Sarah finds Beth inside the den. And Beth, you know, she's hanging on by like a... She's bleeding out from her neck. But she's able to like give um, Sarah this like necklace that was Uh, Juno's whenever... Yep. Whenever Beth, like, said. fell down um, after Juno had, like, hit her with the pickaxe, she took, like, the necklace from yeah. Juno, like, wrapped around her, and she took it off of so her. So, she knows that Juno didn't help her, had something to do with the death. Yeah. Yeah. So, Juno's... She puts it together. She, yeah. She's <laughs> she's pretty spot on. <laughs> and then uh, Beth asks her to kill her, to yeah. give her a mercy killing... Yeah. Because she doesn't seem to be dying quickly and she doesn't want to be. So she takes a big ass rock and the camera pulls back and you bam, crunch. It's pretty gross. But you're glad Beth is out of her measure. Yeah. I mean, I would, I would, I would ask the same. I would, I would ask the same of you. Oh gosh. If we were in that situation. I I would. And hopefully you would do it. Close your eyes. Yeah. Like, but. I don't know. I feel Beth. I would not want to lay there and be eaten. Yeah. So I would totally like, yeah. Josh, do me in, please. Bash like, my head in. I'm like, hold on. Let me go find a really big rock. I'll be back. <laughs> I promise. And then you don't come back, <laughs> and I'm eaten. Not the way I wanted to go out. Gosh. I'm like, just looking for a rock. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. So yeah, but she uh, she sees the necklace and then she flips the necklace over and it's got like this little saying that her husband mm-hmm. said, but it's Juno's necklace. So yeah. that's how she like puts it together that Juno's having an affair yeah. with her husband. Yeah. Um, and then she gets attacked by this like family. Yeah. Of crawlers, and she kills all of them like a crazy psycho. She yeah. has like a mental breakdown. She takes that pickaxe. And just goes to it. town on those people and she hides under the water. That's yeah, all bloody. Very, like, she comes up very apocalypse now <laughs> style. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, she just looks straight crazy. Warrior that, princess. And that one something. crawler like walks on her. Mm-hmm. And, the, and she is just so, like be yeah just be completely Quiet. yeah she has to act dead so that that guy won't eat her up um and she's always having these like birthday visions so you know she's yeah. like going crazy she's always <laughs> thinking about her daughter and isn't this supposed to be like this this whole adventure for them the reason why they even went is like to get her mind it was off to get of her, her mind off dead of family. her yeah, because it was her daughter's birthday again. It was a year mm-hmm. later. That's right. And so that's why she has, like, the birthday cake kind of, like, vision. Yeah. So. With her daughter's name on it. And you see her daughter's kind of like her silhouette. Do you... I mean, you see her blow out the candles, but you don't never see, like, a full, clear picture like, of picture, her. Yeah. It's very dreamy. Yeah. Very dreamy. You get this, yeah, you obviously get the sense that it's just, like, a vision. And she's just wishing for, you know, wishing for something. Juno and Sam and Rebecca, though... They are trying, they're following those arrows or whatever, and they decided to try to find Sarah, if they can, you know, if they, like, bump into her, I guess. Um, At this point, I mean, like, I would feel the sense that, like, we gotta go, like, we're gonna get get, eaten. Yeah, we gotta get out of here, I mean, the two sisters, at least, are like, no, like, she's probably eaten if, you know, like, Like, Juno almost wants to make sure that they have Sarah, but, um... So th- then there's another, like, little rock climbing, like, thing that happens for the doctor sister, the one that wants to be a doctor, yeah. and she gets killed by a crawler, yeah. and then the other sister gets dragged through a cavern, and her fingernails all fall off, and so Juno's left. Yeah, that's really gross. She's... There's nothing worse than seeing fingernails and toenails getting Paper popped moved. off. Yeah. Or... Yeah, the nasty. implication of that happening is just as bad. Oh no, I think it would be quite enjoyable. I, I would love to have my fingernails removed. Um this next Juno finds Sarah. Yeah, Juno finds Sarah, Sarah finds Juno. 
And they kind of have like a moment where you think. Okay, they're going to make a. Yeah, like Sarah asks her about Beth. Like, when's the last time she saw Beth? And she lies. Yeah, she lies. She's not going to tell Sarah that she accidentally killed her or anything. She's like, it was a real oopsie. (laughs) Like, oh, I killed our friend. And I was terrible and I left her. We're no longer the three best friends. Oh, so, um, but they decide to set up, like, a little booby trap, you know, for crawlers and stuff, because sh- they're going to try to, you know, take that Eliminate path out. Them. Yeah, but they're like, let's try to take out a whole bunch of crawlers. And they yeah. do, and it looks really cool, and they're fighting off all these crawlers. Yeah, the last half of the movie, last half hour, is just nothing but just like action cool packed action, fighting, fighting yeah. gore. It looks really yeah, awesome. Everything you want in a horror movie. And, uh, yeah, they set the trap up for a whole bunch of crawlers to get killed. And they get killed. They take them out. And afterwards, Sarah and her just, like, kind of, you know, she's in a different state of mind now. She has gone through a shit ton of stuff. <laughs> she's like, man, two years in a row. <laughs> yeah, I am just getting What is going beat. on? First um, my family, now my friends. I can't seem to get a break around here. So what kind of girl a break? <laughs> but sh- Sarah shows Juno the necklace. Yeah. And Juno's like, oh, oh fuck. hey. Okay. You actually know. And what does... You already know everything. And what does Sarah do? She take the high road. <laughs> she take the high road. <laughs> Hell no. She's like, bitch, you're, you're dead. <laughs> She takes... You got me into this mess. You fucked my family. (laughs) (laughs) You fucked my friends. And now... And now... They're all dying. I'm a fucking kneecap up. And she takes a pickaxe. Uh Boom! To Juno's knee. And now she's just a sitting duck for those crawlers. Bye, girl. Yeah. (laughs) She's a bye, Felicia. (laughs) Bye, Felicia. You're out. Bye, Felicia. I'm out. And she takes that path. Mm -hmm. And you... Juno dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Ju- Juno has this, like, one last moment where she's like, okay, I'm gonna toughen up. I'm yeah. gonna, you know, like, she tries to take out as many as she can, I yeah. guess, like, on her way out, but Juno's out. Juno's she's out. nixed. And, uh, so, anyway, Sarah, like, finds the path out. Yeah. You know, she's, she like, crawling, crawling all, all the way out. You can see this, like, it's, guiding light almost. It's a really cool image of, it is. like, darkness the white of the bones and yep. the light shining in. And there's her just there's, crawling out. Yeah, just trying to get up all these bones. <laughs> and she does. She crawls out of the cave and she's all like, ah! <laughs> yeah, she's just running, <laughs> like screaming. screaming. She, Pushes herself uh, out the peat moss. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, she goes for it. She's she finds the cars. Lunatic. Yeah, she finds the cars that they, you know, had left there when they started their cave diving yes. experience. Gets in it and she's... She, she, drives for it. She, she is driving like a bat out of hell. <laughs> she's like, I'm getting the There's fuck out of there. She's, I just left all my friends. She's screaming. They're dead. She's driving at least 90, 100 miles per hour yeah. down these winding, supposedly Appalachian Like mountain, mountain roads. roads. Yeah. And she finally, I guess, decides to pull over and get herself together. And yeah. she's like, oh my god, I... She's like, okay, whew, now I gotta, I gotta, calm live, down. I gotta live through this drive yeah. now. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna lay my head down. I'm just gonna take a, a little rest. I'm shed my eyes for two seconds. And this girl has another hallucination. She lifts her head up and there's dead Juno in dead the seat Juno. next to her. And dead Juno just gives her this look. You, you jump, she jumps. Yeah. We all jump. We all jump and then <laughs> she <It> wins. <laughs> yeah, depending on what version you're depending watching. Depending on the two different versions that are available for you to see, <laughs> you either get to see her make it out of the cave or you get to see her wake the back <laughs> wake the fuck back up and she's in back in the cave. the cave. And then she has and it a, was all it was all a dream and a she dream. has a hallucin- hallucination of the birthday again with her daughter. And like then it like looks like the the daughter's like in the cave with her and it pans out and you see how shot. deep down oh. in the cave she is mm-hmm. and you're and then the end. And then the end. So in the American version we get our happy, happy go ending. lucky yeah. all American We get our ending. version of 
<laughs> we get our happy ending America where someone lives. deserves a happy ending. That's the main point is that like in the U.S. version, you get to see her live. And in then in the, the rest of the world, version. world, yeah, like in the worldwide version, you get to see that every no all, one makes it. No one made it out. Nobody makes it but out. Nobody founds anything. You get a sense he still tried to make it a happy ending. Yeah, like she, now he's she's with her daughter. She's resting. Yeah, like she even at the very end, you know, kind of gave a smile, like when she saw the vision of her daughter with the birthday cake. Yeah. She accepted it. She knew. And you could hear the crawlers. They were just getting louder and louder. They were getting closer to her. She wasn't ever going to make it out. Mm-hmm. And that's that's a sad, sad thing. Good movie. Well, here's the deal, y'all. We are going through some creepy small town that I'm sure has a bunch of crawlers in it. <laughs> On our way to Alabaster Caverns. Yes. We will try to report to to you from the caves themselves. But if it's like a group situation... Yeah, we're not quite sure. We're going to be like the weirdos talking to our phone. <laughs> yeah. Saying like, no guys, we have a podcast. We're, we're do- we've got friends <laughs> listening, so... People are listening. <laughs> no, so anyways, yeah, we're going to we're gonna pull in eventually to the Alabaster Caverns and um, if we can, we'll report to you inside them. If not, we'll report to you, you know, when we yeah, get back we'll in. we'll get back, we'll do our knives rating, we'll do our favorite scenes, talk a little bit more just about the movie... About our, you know, our final thoughts. Yeah, yeah. our final, our final thoughts. thoughts. So we'll see you guys in just a little bit. Wish us luck. All right. The Peace out. Bye. And we are back. We're the two best friends that anyone could have. And we're alive. We made it out of the cave. We made it out of the Alabaster Caverns. We didn't get taken by the crawlers. And you know what? We searched for them, but we did not see any crawlers. Uh, Yeah, like I was, I was looking back. I was like, you there? No. Mm -mm, They weren't there. We saw some like little salamanders. Uh, We saw bats. Bats were in there. Flying around. Was fun. Lizard. What I think is a scorpion. I saw a scorpion in the dark. Yeah. They tested us. <laughs> sensory deprived us. Yeah, and turned was, all the lights out. For yeah, we minutes. went down to the area of total darkness, yes. and they took, they turned the lights out, and then like it didn't matter if your eyes were open or closed. It was just dark, and there it was pitch dark. It almost gave me a sense of like vertigo. Like I had to close my eyes because it was almost making me like. Ugh. Oh, you were well, having vert. You were having vertigo. I was having <laughs> hardcore vertigo. I'm a dramatic bitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was really fun. It was really neat. We it took about 45 minutes to walk through. It was up and down, fun yep. clay terrain that you're walking through. We saw some really beautiful alabaster and gypsum <laughs> rock, rock formations. Yes. <laughs> some beautiful alabaster. Gypsum. Yes, and we kind of. They better explain. Yeah, it. it was really, it was really nice. It was really cool. It wasn't as like grand. We've been to uh, like Carlsbad. Carlsbad. And that's like yeah. very majestic, very grand. It takes an hour just to go down to the main level, main open like, floor. Well, yeah. And then that takes another hour to go through. So this was a little bit more intimate, but it was cool. It was more rugged and. I got clay on me. I still have it on me. I'm going to keep it on me forever. (laughs) So she'll never forget. I'll I'll never forget. So, but I'll never forget the descent. (laughs) Oh, time that in, time that in. You'd like segue, like, (laughs) boom, just titled. So do you have a favorite scene? What's your favorite? Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, I have like a couple favorite scenes. Yeah. Probably like, but they kind of, they're all scenes of Sarah. Uh, And I just like her like hardcore fighting scene with that family of crawlers um because she just has like a complete psychotic break at that point she kind of does she's like i'm out of here my wits yeah it's almost like we she left sarah behind and she's like this like warrior yes like she's like a little goddess bloody warrior princess she's having to like blood and water she She's just having to, like, kick ass real quick. Yeah. And she's all on her own, you know, like, for a little bit of it. All and by myself. Don't, don't want to be. Okay. In a cave <laughs> by myself. But, um, yes, I really like that 
scene, and then I enjoyed the twist at the end. I know yeah. you ha- kind of have a little bit more problems than I do. I and believe then, um, Americans deserve a happy ending. <laughs> I'm kind of okay. No, I don't. With I don't mind the, the other. Worldwide. I don't mind the other scene. I think it's because when I originally saw the movie, yeah, it in was 2005, 2006. I saw it on DVD rental. Yeah. First. I kind of like how it twists and at that's the very how end. I saw it, and I guess I didn't realize until I, you know, rewatched it this most recent time that there was an alternate An alternate. Oh my God. And it blew my mind. I was like, no! She's alive! <laughs> but it's, it's like, kind of cool once you accept it, you know, once you <laughs> once you realize that, no, she probably didn't. I'm live, still like, in the stage of denial. <laughs> Sarah He's is in alive. in that river! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I love those two scenes a lot. Um, yeah, like, I liked so much of it. It yeah. was... My it's turn. a great movie. So, oh, okay. Well, I'm I was kidding. gonna get to you. Here just you go. Joshing. Just joshing. <laughs> just um, joshing. I'll start off. I love the scene at the beginning when she gets stuck. To me, that's one of the most like anxiety edge of your seat moments when they're crawling through that. I think it's like the first hole. Yeah. And, she, and Sarah. Everyone else makes it through. And yeah. Sarah and then she gets has stuck. like her. There's a real sense of her panic attack. Yeah. There's just. A, yeah. There's a, a real sense of danger, yeah. real sense of You feel the pressure. Intimate. Intimate danger. Enema <laughs> danger. Did you have an enema earlier? <laughs> Those tight wet cracks. Intimately. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So yeah. getting in a tight crack. And also when they have to climb over the big uh, gully. <laughs> no, I don't know to call it the big uh, Oh I know the rock climb the heavy the rock climbing the rock, scene, yeah, yeah, like where they're Kind of scaling across it, yes. It's very Ninja Warrior of them. So I really like, those are things that I really like before the crawlers even come in. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, and then do you have, like, other scenes when the crawlers are in that are your favorite? Well, then kind of the stuff you mentioned, even the first attack is pretty terrifying when Juno gets attacked and she's, like, knocking him around. Yeah. When they, when you first see him, when, like, Holly's standing there and it's just like, boom, that's what they look like, it's, like, right behind him, it's... There's so many awesome, like, gotcha mm-hmm. scenes in this that takes, I just enjoy it so much. And it takes its time, and you really get to know the characters, so when they, you know, are getting... When they're, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're like, no, doctor girl. Like, no, oh, Rebecca. Who's going to wrap your sister's hand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's getting hurt, okay? You best to be sticking around. I know. I, I really good. do, like, develop a likeness for most of uh, all the and characters. some of them are a little some, annoying. Like yeah. I said, sometimes... Hey, a British accent can get on my damn nerves. <laughs> they should real. call it like crumpets and caves. Okay? Yeah, like it's, it's like, just like tea time. Yeah, you can't. No. <laughs> Sometimes just you just can't even. But at least they're authentic. There's yeah. nothing worse than a bad American British like, accent, like oh, an American trying to do a British yeah. accent. So yeah, we don't even attempt them because that's just a shame. Jolly ho. <laughs> Governor. I um okay so knowing all that. Let's get to our knives. All right. What are you rating this, Mr. Josh? I'm kind of out of thing because I don't know if I went overboard last episode and gave too high a score to Sleepaway Camp, but I gave it a higher score for different reasons because it's funny, it's campy, it knows what it is, and I gave Sleepaway Camp a 3.5, and I think I'm going to go as high. It's one of my favorites of the 2000s. The descent. I think I'm gonna go with a four to four point okay. five. Okay, maybe. I was gonna give it. It's not a five. It's not a classic yeah. yet. It hasn't. Well, I mean, there's some, five you know, there's make some it like a iffy CGI stuff, but it's early two yeah. thousands, low budget. They do a great <laughs> job with the production design. Like I said, uh, there was moments I wonder if they were in real caves. Yeah, so. yeah. And the scares are there. There's the magic high has anxiety, happened. edge of your seat, yeah, almost the whole thrill. time. You know, just like and they're thrill seeking like, ladies. Then you get your like monster slasher fun yeah. shit at the last half hour. You know, I think it's just a really fun, creepy, creepy horror movie that really feeds off people's like real life fears and their imagination. So I guess, uh, do I have to? Can I say four or four point five, or do I have to give it a definite? Don't you have to give All it right. a definite? I'm gonna go a little high and go four point five. Oh wow! Is that, is that too high? I, uh, I mean, I, for, I mean, you kind of just, like, encapsulated everything that I would have said about that movie, mister, but, I mean, 
mean, yes, like, I would give it a four. Um, that's what I had had in mind at first when you were, like, uh, giving it a four. I was like, oh, well, that's mine. I, I we would get gonna... a reputation of <laughs> going too high. <laughs> no. Oh, no These are your feelings, <laughs> Mr. Josh. You just have your feelings. No. I, uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a four. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And, like, it'll be one that I, you know, want to watch, you know, time and time again. Time It'll probably always give again. me the, the heebie-jeebies. And, um, I love it, them heebie-jeebies. Yeah, and it, it feels, like you said, it kind of feeds on your your real natural fears. Primal like things that could fears. really happen. And then on your more fantastic, like, fears. Like, mm-hmm. these these monsters. But, like, they're, you know, when they're crawling through the caves, there's there's no worse feeling than being completely, like, claustrophobic, like, confined, and you're just, like, stuck, and, yeah. you know, um, there's rocks falling, it just doesn't get kind of any worse. And I'm sure that. there's people out there like, oh, this movie, there's no way there could be such thing as crawlers, it's like, yeah, well, of course not. Okay. It's a horror movie. Yeah, it's, that's exactly what it is, yeah, it's, it's like, a scary this world, movie, this is a dimension where we just, do get yeah, to have them. <laughs> it's like, in this movie, that's... In a world just like in ours. In a universe like ours, they got to, to have be these creatures. Yes, these but they didn't flesh know about, eating yeah. humanoids. <laughs> As you push up your glasses and <laughs> yes. shake your finger. Hey, uh, flesh eaters. Yeah, so 4.5 for Mr. Josh. Whoop, whoop, so survive. I'm going to give 4. it a 5. solid four. Yeah. <laughs> four knives. I'm going to stab it. But um, hey, maybe Mr. Josh, you could enlighten. What? Our oh, listeners guys. on two. So, this is episode three. Coming up, we have a very special episode for you. It is you. so special. For episode four, yeah. we are going down to Tejas. One, two, three, four. We're going to go visit some friends. Oz and Stephanie. Woo, woo. <laughs> and we are going to visit a very classic horror movie house. Yes. In Texas, can you think, what do you think In it might Texas, be? In Texas, we're Oh, we're going to go to the we're Texas we're Chainsaw we're Massacre we're house. We're yep. So, episode four, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Look for us in a good solid month. Yeah. It'll be around the 16th-ish weekend time. That's when so, we'll do it. Yep. You'll be here uh-huh. from us in a good month. All right. I we hope, really appreciate it, guys. Thank you for listening. I hope everyone has a fantastic, scary evening. All right. Well, I'm your final girl, Justine. I'm your soul survivor, Josh. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>